What's going on family? It's your boyfriend John back for another video and we carry on where we stop into our tutorial. Now the first thing you want to do is obviously open Photoshop and then once that's done um, we're gonna be tidying up some stuff here. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna create a new group right here and once it's done, then we're going to put the group layer all the way to the top. We're going to be selecting all the front end of the car. So to select all of it, you select the first one and then you go all the way to the top. Then you leave your hands on shift and then you click on the top one. And then when it's done, you just move it just as so to the group and the group we're gonna name the group front that's it a couple of changes as you can see I've put my Photoshop in English because it was in French and I found some cool stuff so I went to Adobe Photoshop CC8 locals mine as you can see is in FR I click support files and here for some people that just want to change their language straight away as such but anyway let's go back to our tutorial that was a little side note here we're gonna arrange this right here the headlights and then we're gonna be doing uh, some of the side and the background but anyway let's go back to some design so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to arrange some of those stuff right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be hiding the layer right here. We're going to go to the pen tool, leave your hands on alt so that you can zoom in with the scroll on the mouse. So let's do some pen tool. There we go right here then we go to right click make selection then we hit ok actually zero plus three yeah zero plus three is fine and hit ok and then when you're done just move it around as so remember leave your fingers on the space bar there you go right click again make selection and then make sure it's add to selection hit ok then we make sure again then this is the correct layer which is this one right here then we press ctrl c and then ctrl v then we can put the view back on on the front and then we're gonna select the layer and then put it over here and there we have it so as you can see there we have our stuff and here you can see it's not really you know it's not that great 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 so what we could do here is we're gonna modify the front just that part of the front so what we're gonna do we need to select the correct layer so hit the selection tool leave it on auto select and make sure here it's on layer instead of group because if you put it into group then it's gonna move all the group but we just only want to move this layer right here which is that yes right but that's the one that we want Control t to open the transform tool then we go into wrap and try to distort a little bit so what we want basically is we want some of the stuff here whatever angle that we can find we want to put it just like this and the reason why we want to the reason we want to do this is because we want to make it as realistic as possible then we hit okay then let's select that layer again some other layer this layer right here Control t and then some wrapping 
hit enter then we're gonna select that layer here another control T unwrap in So move around this a little bit, make some little adjustments, some little modifications, you know, just spend the correct time. The time you need to spend it to align some stuff. You know, for instance, just like this. Time that's necessary, just spend the time needed. Whatever the time is necessary, just to um, adjust some stuff so, so what I'm doing right how right now is just adjustment just adjusting some of the stuff you can do that as well um, just making some adjustments go ahead it's fine always make sure you selected the correct layer for the adjustment Okay. That's it. So the only adjustments. So work your way through, make some adjustment. The adjustment that you need in order for your design to look just the way you want it to look. So right now all I'm doing is just adjustments. Right, we're getting there. Let's just work a bit more on some other adjustments. We hide it, then we select that part right here. There we go. Cover it back. And last. So here, let's just select tool. We go into the pen tool. Then we can select that part right here. There we go. Make new selection. Then we're gonna go to the smudge tool, and we're just gonna drag just a little bit. Now, let's just make some more and final adjustments. Right, so let's just hide those. As you can see, some, some of the lights, we're gonna do some reflection, some light reflection, just like this. And we're gonna do some broken glasses, just as so. So, pen tool. Then we're going to select some of the parts, let's say here, yeah, that thing that should be alright. We're going to darken this up a bit. So, burn tool, put this a little bit darker, okay. Then we're going to go to select, inverse. Then we're going to take the opposite tool, which is the dodge tool. Slower. Middle tone is fine. There we go. As so. Then we're going to go to highlight. Put this a little bit smaller. And what? Right. Now, for this, we're going to do some adjustments. Let's try to use some of the broken glass that we see right here. So, take a bit of the broken glass. Make new selection. 
we create the correct layer, Control C. Then we go back to our first layer, which is this one here. And we press Control V. Let's put our layer right here. Control T to make some adjustments. Just go a bigger, just like that. Some wrapping tool. Right. When it's done, that which is our layer, select, load selection, invert, then hit OK. Then select our other layer and then press delete. Then we deselect our layer. Then we're gonna hit our say our layer again. And then we are going to make it darker. And by making it darker, we emphasis on that which is glass and here which the glass came out. So some part of the glass, I think this would be alright. There we go. Uh, so make a new selection, hit enter. Make sure it's the correct layer. I'll keep repeating it all the time until you guys get it. So I apologize for that. Control C and Control V. Then we're gonna change the mode to overlay. Earlier we're gonna put it just a little bit lighter using the dodge tool. So that's it. So you can see right here it's clear and this is a bit darker as in the glass is open. Let's just make a little bit of adjustment here. So we're gonna make it make it just a slight lighter. Then go to our dodge tool, make it just a bit darker on the side. Hide it, then let's go on the border of the headlights. You can see there is a border right here. So just on the border. And delete. And there you go. And here we have our broken glass. Time to work on the side. Hide this down. And we are going to select all that you see right here. Let's do this. There you go. Make selection. Hit OK. Control C. Make correct layer. Then we're gonna hide this and hide all of that. Then we're gonna create a new group and then you hit Control V. And we have our front group and this group we're gonna call it side. Now, adjustment time. Control T. We're gonna be cutting some of that stuff just like I showed you before. There you go. So we're gonna take the windscreen out. Take selection to layer yeah, cut. We hit the selection tool and then we press right click here and cut. Hide this one. Then it's gonna leave us with a windscreen. Control T. And there you go. We go to select, load selection, hit OK. Then we're gonna go to our windscreen, select the windscreen, raise tool, and delete just some of the stuff right here. And that hit the select. There you go. 
green screen and stop right now let's just adjust a little bit the size So there we have the side so let's put this on the top actually we have it straight up here when we need some of the parts so let's just take some of the door there you go so right click make a selection radius zero three Hit OK, then we press Control C, then Control V. Let's hide this, put this on the side. Let's work. Open the Control Tool. There you go. Let's go to the much tool so you can see all we have to do is work out some of the adjustments work out on the tools as well the Photoshop tools in order to get where we want to get and it's all about adjusting it's all about working it out just making it look as realistic as we can and we have some adjustments to do right here so let's choose the layer from t and the wrap tool what else here as well we need to make some adjustments let's just modify the selection here what we want is the selection here to align the link let's go back to the big screen and there we have most of our adjustment done you can see the little part of the wheel let's go there and then we're gonna select that part right here Copy a bit of the door. Selection done. Control C, Control V. Then put it on the side just like so. Hide this layer right here. Right, we can adjust this as many times as we want. The tricky part here work this out here so that we can work that out just on the side as well we're gonna draw right click layer by cut open the transform tool here we go selection tool select our correct layer Select, load selection, hit enter, then select that layer here, erase tool, put it a little bigger, there you go, just select, then move the layer a little bit so that we don't see that line. Right! Just make some more adjustments. So, smudge tool. There we go, show you there. Smudge tool, put it smaller. And then just drag it there. There we go. Then, right here, we're going to use the erase tool. Put it smaller as well. 
order to fade. There you go. See? It's actually fading. Always hide it and then put it back to normal just to see where you are. There you go. And then open it in form tool and then let's just adjust this. This is our main concern right here. Let's just select some of the parts here. I use the selection tool only on small parts because it's easy to work with the mouse. But on selection is big, it's better to use the pen tool. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V, Ctrl T. And there we have that adjustment made. Now we can go here and try to adjust it. Choose that layer. And that's it. We have some adjustment that's been made, especially on the side, as you can see. So we're going to make a bold selection. There you go. Make a selection. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, always making sure you corrected the rat layer and we put it on side. Now let's just rename this side and back. Now, you know, this is going to go somewhere in here. There you go. Then we're gonna select our layer here. So we're gonna hide our layer. Then we're gonna be drawing There you go. Right click, make a new selection, then hit OK, then make sure it's our correct layer. Hit and press delete. And that's it. Now we need to make some more adjustments right here. So what we can do is correct to that layer right here. Then select just this part. So, control copy, and put it on top right here. So let's lower down the opacity just to see what we actually need. What we actually need.
ないと。ええ、うん、よしよしよしよしよしよし。はい、じゃあ、はい。それで、今、ここに移って、これは、Finish. Now, what we're going to adjust it so that we can use it as a picture and not use all that stuff that you see here, all that crumble here. We're going to be using the crop tool and we're going to select the part that we need right here. And, top. and there we have our car. Now, what we're going to do, just to make it a little stand out a bit more, Control A to select everything, Edit, Copy Merge, then we press Edit Paste. And then we're going to change the to Soft Lights. And there you have it. Now, I know I said there was going to be. A third video of the series, but since we've done the background already, we pretty much finished the car. What I can do, I'm gonna be making a third video, I said, but it's going to be a special video. Yeah, a special video. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how we can use the reflection of the standard base. Add it up to our design, then adapt our design to our previous background. Yes, let's do that. If you want a third video, just let me know. I'll work on it and then show you how to do this and then carry on the series just as I said before. But I am out. Thanks for watching, people. Please share, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want with a video. You can, I don't know, but just share it. And subscribe for more of these. They're gonna be a lot more. And if you are okay, then maybe we can do something like that. <laughs> okay, let's not go too boldly. But anyway, thanks for watching, my people. See ya.